Hey everyone, it's a vicious vixen and here we are gonna jump right into the tutorial. So I got these lights from Amazon at the suggestion of another cosplayer who I will link somewhere on the screen. Um, these were pre-programmed and they came with this like clear waterproof stripping which I just peeled off. And I'm still a beginner at soldering things together but this was really easy. Um, if you want to go with uh, lights that are already pre-programmed, if you're not comfortable with coding and stuff like that, which I am not yet, I suggest ordering these because they came with a bunch of different light functions and speeds and colors and I'll probably end up using these again because it was really easy to use these. and I'm just, just gonna test to make sure they're still working, which they are, and you wanna test all the way throughout to make sure, while you're making your props or whatever, to make sure that your electronics are still working. So I'm just taking this empty roll, like a paper towel roll, you could also just use like a piece of PVC pipe, and I covered it in aluminum foil in case some of the lights didn't go they didn't cover all of the aluminum foil and I figured it would help with reflecting the light more but they ended up covering it so it didn't really matter and it still show, showed bright enough so it was fine. Um, to make the handle part of my mace I'm using a half inch piece of PVC pipe and a half inch coupling. I am using my heat gun on one end of the coupling to make it malleable so I can shove the um, paper towel rod in there because that is where my lights are going to go and that part is not going to be detachable at all. And I'm also going to um, use some pliers to um, just make sure the bottom part where the rest of the PVC pipe is tight because I don't want it to slip out. That part, I don't mind if it's detachable. The rest of it, I don't want to be detachable. And here we can see my lights are still working and I am just going to glue those on using hot glue. Um, if you would like, you can use contact cement, but hot glue, sometimes hot glue is just exactly what you need. It's fine. So for the actual orb part of the mace, I am using a clear plastic ornament that I ordered from Michaels. I ordered three of them. And if you're going to be doing this with something clear plastic, you want to make sure it is um, it has the edges that kind of interlock with each other. That's going to make it a more smooth and seamless finish. I sanded both the inside and the outside to help with diffusion and I also snipped off the little nub where you would put a piece of string to hang this on a tree and I sanded that down. Then I am going to take that PVC coupling and I am marking around the smaller end because the larger end, the wider part that I use heat on is going to be inside of the orb because that part is not going to be detachable. Once the lights are inside of it, it's not coming back out at any time, which is why I'm testing my lights repeatedly to make sure that they're okay. And I'm just using my heat tool to melt the plastic into a circle. And I'm also gonna use that to kind of um, take care of some of the little rougher edges just to make sure that it's gonna fit in there smoothly. And I'm also going to end up sanding that down with a piece of paper. If you wanted to, you could probably use like a Dremel on a low speed so you don't get too much heat. And no matter what, whether you're melting it or sanding it, please wear a respirator and be in like a well ventilated area cause you don't want plastic or like hot PVC fumes or any of that in your lungs. 
so to make the little hexagon um, plates for the mace, I am using two millimeter foam and I just printed off some hexagon patterns that I resized to a size that I was comfortable with and I'm just cutting those out. They're not perfectly symmetrical and that's okay with me because we're going to say that it looks more organic and I am about to focus on being perfect. For the inside, I painted it red and then I sanded it down a little bit and that helped also with making the color brighter. And to attach these, I used contact cement and then I heated the, um, the hexagon shape and then I put it onto the, uh, the orb. You can do this in a different order if you like. It's probably safer because contact cement fumes, but that's just my preference. So here are the larger scales. And then for those empty spaces, I also made some smaller ones to fit, um, just to add some like dimension and like differences and stuff. And once we've made sure that the lights are still working, I'm gonna leave them on. Um, they're just plugged up into my computer because they're a USB power cord. I am putting super glue, which is cyanoacrylate glue. I believe that's how it's pronounced. I'm putting that on the inner edge of both of the orbs and at the base of the orb where the lights are put in by the coupling, I'm using hot glue and I am pushing it together and I'm holding it so the hot glue melts with the other side of hot glue to lock them together. And I'm using the super glue on the outside to just help close up any gaps because I can sand those down and cover them later. And once those are okay, I am using the last of the hexagon plates to cover up some of the seams. And here is our orb. I am so happy that you joined me for this first part of making this mace. The next part I will go over how I made the rest of it, including the handle and like decorated with foams and all that stuff. So if you're interested, please keep on watching and waiting for the next video and I will see you later. Bye bye.